So, the temperature here is rising, clement winds are sweeping the melancholy of winter away, and the smiles are returning to people's faces. Don't make me go out there. What with the conflicts happening all over the world, people gluing themselves to roads and trees, pumping out clouds of toxic semen with the single aim of collapsing my pulmonary system, well, I'm not feeling hugely simpatico with the outside world right now. So what to do? Well. I could curl up into a shivering ball and hit autoplay on YouTube, but firstly, I've been doing that for the last three months, and secondly, well, I'm beginning to think that Donald Trump might be Jesus, so I should probably shut my computer down, remove the CPU, throw it down the garbage disposal and douse it in holy water. No, there's nothing for it. I've got to find some of my most agoraphobic friends, lock them in a room, and ride this shit out over some games. Believe me, there won't be a scintilla of vitamin D amongst us. If you want to join me, by not joining me, then you'll need some help. So here are my five games for escapists. What could be less like the horrendous events that are racking our fragile planet than having a lovely time riding some camels around a racetrack? That's right, nothing. This is the best Spiel des Jahres of the last decade. Camel Up is a simple game that is incredible fun every time you play it. You can roll a die to move a camel or make bets on the outcome of the race, but there are loads of racing games though. Why is this one special? That comes in the form of the camel riding mechanism, which allows camels to jump on one another, which changes the way they move and could drastically change the outcome, leaving your sure thing at the back of the pack and the lame Dobbin cruising to victory. Also, this game in no way reminds you of the rapid desertification of arable land due to a disastrous treatment of the environment. Ah, oh, bloody hell, let's move on. to escape from the problems of the world, I dive into the musty pages of an old book, and there is no book that is successful at pulling me out of the fear-inducing quotidian roller coaster and into its world than John Ronald Rule's classic fantasy adventure, The Lord of the Rings. There are loads of board game implementations of the great man's works, but maybe none offer such a compelling team experience as War of the Ring, the card game. This devilishly simple card game pits the shadow against the free peoples in a delightfully engaging two-on-two -two battle. The game is really quite simple. Deploy your forces to iconic battlegrounds and other Middle-earth locations, and try to come out at the end of the tussle with more points than the other team. The game really lies in the interactions between the cards, though, that are both brilliant in terms of gameplay and thematically consistent with the source material. This is a genuine team experience and a wonderful Lord of the Rings experience, and will no way remind you of a malevolent force from the East seeking dominion over the free world aided by agents and spies from the West. Oh, all right, I'll scrub it off the list. Oh, how far we've come. Tammany Hall is a game of political manipulation and wrangling in a world of endemic corruption where the media is used to smear opponents and racial difference deployed to stoke up the fires of populism. Nothing like today. Tammany Hall is a game that models its theme wonderfully and is tremendous fun. It is New York in the middle of the 1800s. Boss Tweed holds dominion over Tammany Hall, and you are political operatives seeking to consolidate power. It's like Gangs of New York, only good. You will bribe local ethnic leaders, slander your opponents, and spread your malign influence across the five boroughs. The real genius of this game, though, lies in your ability to divvy out the jobs on the New York City Council yourself, keeping your enemies weak and your allies strong. Just not too strong. You'll need all that power to stoke up ethnic rivalries and bleed the city dry. Now hang on. That's exactly like today. Now, you may say, 
Ben, this isn't escapist at all. This is the real bloody world. Well, you see, not only is Through the Ages the best board game ever made, it paints a picture of unfettered progress across time where our potential will never be shackled and we can all travel to space together. Now tell me that's not pure escapism. This game is just perfection. There is a learning curve, but once you grasp through the ages, you will realise what the analogue art form can truly achieve. The story Through the Ages tells is a universal one of progress through the major epochs of human history. You can build the pyramids, the globe theatre, and eventually glide serenely across the Silicon Superhighway. Now wait a second, the bloody internet is in this game, that's what I'm trying to escape from. Alright, I'll give this one last go. The Sod the rich earth from which we derive all. Our lives, birdsong, the colour of the floral world, we all owe their existence to the ground beneath our feet. If you truly want to escape from the world, embrace it, put a spade into the soil, turn it, plant a seed, and maybe one day you'll have a lovely turnip in your hands. Turnips that presage the surcease of need, the surcease of pain and hunger. But the world does not turn in that manner. Plant the seed and what do you get? That's right, sod all. The earth swallows all of your endeavour, gulps down your labour, then simply laughs at you. Maybe, as the ultimate lark, the earth may usher forth a few promising shoots, and that is the day your apple cheeked child will gently whisper, Daddy, will we have some turnip soon? And choking back your tears, you will say, Not today, son. And your child will say, When, Daddy? And you'll show them your hands ripped apart by toil and scream. See these hands? These are the signs of the mockery of the earth. There is a God and he hates us. There will never be turnips while this barren soil guffaws at our pain. No more turnips. Agricola. was dreadful, so I've decided I'm going to go outside and into nature. Being indoors is making me a bit funny. So sub, if you want, buy some merch from someeeple.com, join the Discord at 5 g dcom and if you want to help me embrace nature, you can join the Patreon at patreon.com forward slash 5 g d like these lovely people. Right, I'm going to go to the forest and snag me a rabbit.